This is the plaintiff, Alberto Lopez. He says his car was mistakenly towed and the defendant caused damage because he towed it from the rear when his car is front wheel drive. He got the money back for the tow, but the guy refuses to do anything about the damages he caused. The defendant brushed him off like a little fly on the wall, but he's one pesky fly and is suing the crook here and now for the $1,029.29 he's owed. This is the defendant, Thomas. He says he's been in the towing business for 10 years and is the best there is. There were prior damages to the plaintiff's car. The man's trying to take advantage of him. And if anyone's a crook, it's the plaintiff, and he'll prove it. He's accused of a terrible tow. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court Next Case. And the dog of the plaintiff says the defendant screwed up his car during a tow. But the defendant says the damage was pre-existing and the plaintiff's a crook. It's the case of, I'm going to toenail you. Thank you, Douglas. Alberto Lopez, you are suing uh, the tow truck company. You've asked us not to mention the name of the company. Represented here by Thomas. You're the driver. You have authority to represent by the owner? Absolutely. Okay, you're not the owner, though, right? You're the driver? No, I'm the driver, yeah. Um, So you're suing the company, represented here by Thomas, the driver, uh, for $1,029.29 in damages that you say you are out as a result of an improper tow. Yes. Tell me what happened. Okay, um, I went to the strip mall. She, my wife went to the post office. I parked. I went to the bank. She went to the post office, which may be 50, 60 feet from where the car was parked. When was I came the up, parking where you it, parked? It, where she parked, where I parked, where she went to the post office is part of the it's strip. For the, po- for, for the post okay. office. And then you went off property to a different to a, place. To a different one, yeah. I figured while she does that, I could do two things at one time while, right. while we're doing both things. Um, when I came back, the car wasn't there. She screamed out from the post office saying the car's being towed. She ran after the car. The Come car on wasn't up. there. You ran after the car. She yes, went. I ran after the tow truck guy. Um, I was trying to wave him down to get his attention to see where he was taking the vehicle at so that way we could go pick up the vehicle. Um, he did get out the vehicle, looked at the vehicle. Um, I'm waving, I'm waving. He turns around, he looked, got back in the tow truck and kept on going. Okay, then what happens? I called him and I told him, the car, I see the car, it's, you know, the guy is driving. He says, yeah, there was a spotter there. I said, a spotter? I said, what are you talking about? He said, yeah, a female called the tow truck company. So when I got back, of course, I was angry, I was enraged. I approached her because I was- How did you find out who the spotter was? My husband How had. did you find out? She was standing spot? in front of the spot where my car was at. Exactly where and my what, car was. And you said, hey, are you the spotter? How no, did you? No, she no, said, she she said I told phone. your car because you went illegal. I said, did you not see that she went to the post? She said, no, I seen you go to the bank. And uh, did you have proof that you had been to the post office? Yes, yes, I have receipts. Like at the right time or something yeah. you ran in and got later? It's no. very hard to run in and get something at the post office. Yes. That takes a while. Yeah, so, <laughs> Let me see. So I approached So her. come on up, please. Are you the spotter? No, I'm a property manager. <laughs> oh, so you don't work we, for the tow company? No. All right, yeah. so you called the tow truck company. Yeah, as soon as they parked there. Did you not see her go to the post office, or you're saying they, that didn't happen? No, they both walked off directly together to the bank. When they came back, she came very high rated. He was, he was very calm. He was very pleasant. I rate you mean? High rate, very high. Okay, I, she was high rated, that means it's <laughs> Okay, it's a good thing. Okay, so she was really angry, and what, what else? Um, then she said, well, I wanted to go to the post office afterwards. We had to go to the bank. I said, ma'am, had you entered the bank, or at least told someone you're going to the bank, anything, we would have definitely Do given you the chance. Do you have a receipt from the bank from that day? Right yes. Now. Let me see it. Do they you know ent- when you called for the tow? Uh-huh, yes. When? About 10.20. No. And what she did was she entered the post office after I already then spoke to her. She enters the post office at 1038. Uh, The bank was at 1024. I don't know, she could have been in line all that time. It's the post office. (laughs) Uh, In any event, do you have pictures? Yes, we do. May I see them? Okay, so obviously nobody has pictures before the tow, right? You don't have pictures before the tow. Um, But in any event, what happens is 
She's screaming and carrying on. You got, you tell her to call the company. You go to the company. Oh, he took it. I called the company. Then they said they're gonna send them back. I needed to pay 130. So you paid it to get the car. I paid back. it to get it back. Exactly, to get it back. Okay. So when he dropped it, I checked and he could say I showed him the front where he actually when he lifted it up, it hit the wheel stopper and dragged it out. It hit and the I showed, wheel yeah, stopper. Yeah, you know, like the, you know they got the wheels, the yellow in the front to stop. Oh, you. oh, that's perfect. So when you picked thing? it up, yeah, it scratched the, the whole. Okay, so he complains to you about that from the beginning, right? No, in fact, I even have a um, condition report on the receipt itself that he signed off on. Let with me see the damages that. posted. We, we need some. We, Did have you have same, we have the copy. It's the same copy. Yeah. Well, let's make sure it is. Thank you. What is this document? It's pretty much a, a, a tow receipt. Right. Um, and in it, you're telling him there's dents and scratches in the front. I'm, I'm showing And him, he's signing There's a condition it. report posted on the receipt itself prior before they sign. Yeah, so, but this isn't signed until you're returning the car. This is just you documenting after you're returning it to him that there's damage on it, you know. When do you first learn that he's complaining it's damaged and that it's your fault? Um, when my office manager called me. Which is what, a few hours later, an hour later, five um, minutes later? It had to be about like an hour and change later. Okay, I don't so know exactly. he calls you and then what happens? And the guy, all I heard the guy saying, just give him his money and let's, just, that's it, just make him go away. Okay, so, now they did end up returning your tow money. They told yes. yes. Okay, according to you, there's damage and the damage was caused during the tow. The tow, yes. According to you also, this receipt says that it was flatbedded, which is not true. No. No, no, that's not well, true. Well, you, you know you marked it. Oh, yeah. I'm, okay, I'm so is that as true as everything else you want me to find from this? No, absolutely not. That, no, I don't know why. In why any event, I need to stop getting all hung up on the tow because you, your company already returned the money of the tow. So the real issue is, did you cause the damage or didn't you? You say it's in the way that he towed it. Yes. Because. He, it's at the real wheel well and the back fender right by the wheel. I guess when, you know, the fork that right, they use the in the back. Right, but the pictures you're Do you have the car here? Yes, yes it's, in it's the outside. Let's go look at the car. Court's in recess. All right. <laughs> so, uh, do tow truck drivers have a bad rap? Yes, they do. They're, they're like a bigger scam artist than anybody else. No, no, no. What I mean by that is, um, do they have a bad reputation and it's undeserved? Well, for my city, they do. So they, it's deserved, you're saying? Yes. What city? Philly. Really? Yeah. What, uh, what do you think? <laughs> well, I mean, they have a bad rep because no one's ever happy to see them. Whether or not they deserve that bad rep is up to the tow truck man, whether he's good or not. That is a really good answer. That's actually a really good answer, that nobody is happy to see him. That's great. Okay, going inside the courtroom. First of all, how did you tow this, This uh, I don't even know whether to ask you because I can't trust what you say since you marked flatbed in the, in the last one. How did you tow the car? I use GoJax. If you don't know what GoJax are, they're pretty much a, um, a mechanism that you apply on both front tires that allows it to lift um, the both front wheels. I use these for all-wheel drive vehicles or vehicles that are nosed in. I clamped it to the front. It was a Hyundai, so I knew it was front-wheel drive. It was nosed in, so I knew I would be towing it. I would be towing it properly if I grab it from behind. So I didn't grab it from behind. What I did first was I applied the GoJax and pushed the vehicle out of the spot with my bare hands since I released the tension with the GoJax. Once Did I you originally it, tell the, the court employee who took your statement that the door was unlocked so you put the car in neutral and lightly lifted the car from the back and towed it from the lot? Um, to, to be honest, I mean... Yeah, when, I virtually when she, insist upon that. <laughs> <laughs> when, <laughs> when, she, when, when she was talking to me on the phone, I was doing a whole bunch of different things so you, and I was yes, towing different cars. Yes, you told cars. her that? Huh? So yes... You were I, distracted. I don't recall, to be honest. I was distracted. I was towing okay. millions of different so cars. So you originally told, if you told millions of cars, why should I trust your memory on how you towed this one? Okay. Were you there when he towed the darn car? Yes. How did he tow the car? He put the, those wheelie thingies under it, and he pushed, like, he used his own hands, and he pushed it towards the he tow He put the wheelie the thingies under what? On the, um, under the front wheels of the car, and I explained that to them when they came. She came back. Afterwards, after chasing the tow truck company, her husband was there. She came back, going off on me. Then afterwards, she was threatening me. She came back with a second female to basically threaten me again. Well, what do you mean by threaten you? They said they were going to kick my ass. Oh, you do mean threaten me. <laughs> I thought you meant, like, I'm going to call the police, I'm going to get you. No, they said they were going to kick my ass. Did you threaten to, to beat her up? Yes, I did, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> and why did you threaten to beat her up? Because they took my car for no apparent reason. So, let me ask you a question. Sure. 
Let me see your repair estimates. You know, you showed me the front of your car yes. and the scratches all over the I got front. Two, I got two I'm estimates. Ta- do you hear me talking yes, or is yes. it just in my head? I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, you showed me the front of your car and, um, you know, there's scratches if you, I actually took a yeah. dive for you and yeah. went down there and yes. looked at the bottom of <laughs> your car and, um, and there are numerous scratches. It's not one scratch. It's all, all it's scratches evident of all the driving you've done around town. Mm-hmm. If you look at the bottom of my car, that's exactly what's on the bottom mm-hmm. of my car. And, you know, mercifully, my husband doesn't usually lie down on his back to look at the bottom of my car because he would be very disappointed in me if he did. Um, whoops. Um, so, you know, I, that is not evidence of damage that yeah. the guy did. I, I see on, and this is a part, I guess, that I was having trouble with, I see some damage in the wheel well of your back wheel. With back wheel or front wheel? Back wheel. Back wheel, which you say was caused by the way it was towed. She is a witness to the way it was towed. And I think he's a complete slack jaw, but I do kind of trust her. She's not a jerk. Um, but in any event, you know, she's saying, look, the way he did it was with those little thingies in the front and the, and the thing. How then would that damage be, be their fault? What, uh, the wheel well? The yeah, wheel the well? back wheel well, that little corner wheel well of the back, how did it get damaged? Because I Because that got hit by something. The paint is chipped there. Yeah. That item got hit by something. So how would this toe have done that. I would figure with the with the clamps that they use on the wheel, he might have tried to clamp, rest. You use the go jacks on the, on front, the front wheels, you push the thing back and then you tow it from behind. Absolutely. So how do you tow it from behind? What do you attach and where do you attach There's it? The, I, n- I, never, I never towed it from behind. I pushed it physically with my own hands. I pushed it right off the so spot you from in so front. I could have access to the do front since the vehicle's from the front. Do you tow it from behind or do you tow it from the front? I towed it from the front and I proceeded See, with the tow. The problem tow. that I'm having is that the damage that you're showing me, I have to be convinced by a preponderance of the evidence that it happened during this tow. So this is the damage that you're showing me. It's got a, a direct hit with something, and it's the back. It's the back. So how would it have happened during this tow? I'm finding in favor of the defendants in this case. It's a close one. I have to tell you, it's a close one. It's giving me pause to think. But after seeing the car outside, I, and it's not that I trust him. It's that I trust her. Mm-hmm. So I, I, uh, I just don't see how that damage to the back wheel well would have happened under this tow. My verdict is for the defendants. So the plaintiff hears the gavel come down on the side of the defendant, meaning you do not collect here. What's what's your feeling on this outcome? Not not happy mm. because uh, I feel this injustice, you know. But the judge got the the, the last word. In. Yeah, you just couldn't you couldn't prove your case. Um, but you did hear uh, some stories about <laughs> about your wife th- uh, threatening uh, some. Mm. You were smiling when you were hearing yeah. that. What, what do you think of that? That well, she does that. It's under anger, you know. I understand it's under anger, and you know. People do things under anger. It's just yeah. a natural instant. You know, you're upset. You say things. Sometimes you, you, you so, know. What happens when she gets mad at you? Well, <laughs> <laughs> just, she, she tries to beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, head around the okay. head around the corner this way. And, all right. Step on in here. The judge wasn't too thrilled with you. Fortunately, I can see that. that testimony right over there. Uh, here, step up here. What? Okay. You ever, you get in trouble like this often as the tow guy? Some of it. The tow guy gets in trouble a lot, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. We go through it all the time. All yeah. the time. Mm-hmm. This, is, this is not the first time you've oh, been... I'm, hell no. That's, this is why I got the... Um, I deal with so di- different people, so many different people that that's just what we go through. You have something you, you were going to say something? Okay. Well, why don't you be more careful about, uh, you know, if you know that trouble's going to happen, why so many different stories? You got to pay attention to what you're doing and yeah. have one story I, about it. Well, like I said, I told so many different cars that is, it's, it's that's insane. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm a beast. You know what I'm saying? That's just how we do it. <laughs> so that's just what it is. Beast. <laughs> Harvey. <laughs> So, you know, tow truck drivers in most cities are actually, or states are licensed. So you can call a licensing agency if somebody did something really unethical to you. And sometimes the licensing agency will actually put pressure on the tow truck company. 